Hello and welcome back to What If Boise State Joined the Pack 12. Uh, this is episode number number six, Boise State, four and one. I forgot that I needed to readjust the freaking thing because the PlayStation 3 is the most annoying console to stream from. There we go. We're all good now. Uh, this is episode number six, game number five. For the Boise State Broncos, who are currently three and one, and about to face the number two Stanford Cardinal, which was going to be a much bigger um, matchup because. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. Can I have a nap, please? Um, I have a drink. Cantaloupe Italian soda, but this is blended. Um. I forgot where I was. Oh, uh, was going to be a big matchup. Boise State, they won their two non-conference games. They beat Georgia in Georgia. They also beat, thank you very much, they beat uh, Air Force at home. Then they went and knocked over a Mountain Dew and hoped to God that it didn't explode. I have so much shit on this table that it's just... I think the whole thing's just, like, crunching into the middle. Then they went to Washington State, and they lost to the Cougars. Um, what I would qualify as a trap game. Um, the Broncos just couldn't get anything going. It was closer at the end, um, as we'll, we'll take a look at the scores and schedule here. Um, I, it was like... Something to something... Hello? Would you like to read my button presses? Uh... Final score, 17-14. Washington State was in control of that game for a large portion of it. Uh, Boise State scored a late touchdown. They also recovered an onside kick. Uh, the difference in the game was that Boise State went for, went for it on fourth down rather than kicking a field goal um, well within field goal range. Uh, so that dropped them to 3-1 and one so far. And the Cougars are 4-1. I, I thought for sure that Washington State would get just dismantled. Uh, really quick, we'll take a look at the top 25 polls before we jump into the game. Uh, we have Alabama at 1, Stanford at 2, Ohio State, Oklahoma State, Florida State, Oklahoma jumping up a couple spots, Mississippi State jumping up a bunch of spots, Oregon moving up a little bit, Nebraska, Virginia Tech, Texas A&M, Nevada, South Carolina, LSU, Auburn, Notre Dame, Boise State, we are a large reason that so many teams went up in the polls rather than remaining stagnant or dropping. Uh, we dropped <laughs> dropped 9, 11 spots, excuse me, 11 whole spots. Uh, next up we have Arkansas, Texas, USC, TCU, Michigan State, Wisconsin, UCF, and Missouri, both unranked teams uh, that are in the poll for the first time. That's the wrong button. Um, let's see. Others receiving votes were Penn State, Georgia Tech, Tennessee, Ten Texas Tech, NC State, Miami, getting a very nice 69 there. Oregon State, Michigan, and Utah, and then NC State and Oregon State both dropped out of the polls. Um, we don't have anybody in the Heisman race. For some reason, it said that our quarterback was in the Heisman watch. Uh, for one week, then he threw for like 50 yards, and then... They dropped him promptly. Uh, last up, we'll just check the conference standings really quickly. The Pac-12 North is uh, very competitive. Everybody has a 500 or over 500 overall record, uh, and only Oregon State has a losing record in conference play. Taking a look at the Pac-12 South, this one's a little bit more of a. It's a little uglier. Uh, USC, they got out to a good start, and they've been there for a while. Um, Arizona State, Utah, Cal, Arizona, and UCLA all are completely, or all winless, excuse me, against conference foes. So the Pac-12 North, clearly the stronger of the two divisions. Uh, and we'll see just how strong Boise State is against the number two team in the country. Number 17, Boise State. Number to Stanford Cardinal getting it set here uh, yes again this is on the hardest CPU difficulty they just play each other and we watch for our own personal enjoyment I am going to 
try this drink. It's cantaloupe, <clears throat> but I just brushed my teeth. So that's kind of putting a damper on it. Also, I probably have been talking too much lately. Out of the way, PlayStation 3. Let me put my feet up so that they go to sleep and I get irritated. All right. So we're on the farm in Sanford, California. Uh, there is no commentary. I am your commentator. See them there making it a nice star in the middle. It looks like they're supposed to be moving, but they're not. Uh, this is NCAA Football 12 coverage here on twitch.tv slash Rex. ESPN College Football is brought to you by the Home Depot. Build it with Lowe's. Here's our look at Stanford. I would not be surprised if this is a blowout in favor of Stanford. Um, the quarterback for Boise State, Austin, his last name is Austin, has not played well. Um, he played okay against Air Force, and he played all right against Georgia, but the two, the, the two conference games so far have been a little bit more of a crapshoot for him. Um, the win against... Uh, the win against Florida Gators... Um, the win against California, uh, it the final score was seventeen to three, but it was three to three until about two minutes left, and the defense won the game for Boise State. Zach Terry, six four, quarterback for Stanford. I would assume that that's like Andrew Luck. Also, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by the stream. It's our Nike Spark player to watch or whatever, whatever they call it. I was watching a video of me the other day and I slouch a lot. All right. Stanford is kicking away. Boise State fielding it at uh, five yards into the end zone. I got tricked by the positioning of the players. Nice run all the way up to about the 26 yard line or so. So first and 10, we'll see if the Boise State offense can get into a good rhythm. They've had strong starts. And just haven't been able to maintain that momentum throughout the rest of the game. Single back set. Austin drops. Nice slant there. That'll be all the way up to the 40-yard line. First down and 10. Austin tends to hold the ball just like a second too long against the, uh, against the defense. Takes a lot of sacks where he's definitely winding up to throw the ball. But just doesn't quite get it out of his hand. So that's a good start. Technically, I am the coach of the Boise State Broncos, so that's fine. Trip set down below. We'll pitch out to the left-hand side, and that is well read by the Stanford defense. Uh, the running back for Boise State, very good. They probably don't integrate him enough into the system. Uh, Jackson. He went off against uh, Air Force. He had some good runs against Washington State as well. Drops back to pass. Throws again kind of over the middle. Right about to the original line of scrimmage. Just a yard short. Wilson had nowhere to go after catching that ball. Good defense by Stanford. Third down and 11. Rushing only three. Fires over the middle and finds a player, uh, receiver, excuse me, in between like five Stanford defenders. We'll see if we get a replay on that. This throw, nice anticipation there. Just found the soft spot. Four defenders were in the general vicinity of fifth, just off to the side. But that's a, that's a nice find. Here we have our mascot, Bullseye. Because I can't go five minutes without making a movie reference. Drops back to pass. Nice delayed handoff there. Second down and nine. Doesn't get a whole lot of yardage, but... After coming off a big pass play, makes sense. Another handoff up the middle. Stanford's defense defends it well. Gains four. Third down and five.
hopefully uh, Stanford now has to hope that Washington State does well for the rest of the season. Nice pass there inside down to the five-yard line. Looks like he's going to be injured on the play. We might have uh, injuries on both sides of the ball here. That was a great throw. I love the timing of that. What it looked like, uh, what was it, number 31 for the defense is also going to come up injured. Come up limping. Mayhew, he's been a good receiver so far. Points to his arm. Looked like he was grabbing his shoulder. You never can tell with those animations. Uh, but I, I thought that Boise State would handle Washington State no problem. Washington State not particularly good in these years. Uh, nice little screen play there. Untouched into the end zone. Touchdown for Jackson. Boise State up six pending the extra point. I wonder, uh, wonder if they were just a little too focused on this game. Could have been a top five matchup. I don't think it would have been. I think they would have still been ranked sixth, but Washington State, we'll see how well they perform for the rest of the season. And hopefully that loss doesn't look too bad. Kick is up. Kick is good. So 7 nothing Boise State scoring on their opening drive. Six-yard pass from Austin to Jackson. He plays 74-yard drive that took two minutes and 14 seconds off of the clock. Fielded at the goal line. I got that one correct that time. Up to the 20, 25. Bounced off a tackler. Got to all the way up to the 30. So Stanford will have great field position here coming out for their first drive of the series. Two back set. Fake handoff throw. It was a, it was a very odd looking throw from uh, quarterback Terry. Pass is dropped incomplete, so it'll be second down and 10. Hand off out to the right side, nowhere to go. Third down and 13 for the Boise State defense. That was well read by the, the Broncos defense. Broncos defense has been very good this season. Losses are not necessarily, or the loss, one loss, not necessarily their fault. And they won the game against California, so. Rushes five, passes out to the right, and is going to be caught on the sideline right at midfield. And that is a first down. Right as I compliment them, they. Um, maybe challenge that play? That wasn't a great angle, but that looked like it might have been out of bounds. Oh, the booth is going to take a look at this. The call in the field is under review. So we'll take a look at this here. So it comes in. He is out of bounds. He absolutely should be ruled out of bounds. That'll be an incomplete pass. Play reversed. Incomplete pass, and the punting unit will come out. It looked like he was a little too close to the sideline. And even though that initial angle wasn't great on the replay, it, it did look like he was all like weirdly too close to the camera. Like you shouldn't be here, sir. You should be a little farther away. But that'll mean it's a three and out for the Stanford Cardinal. Boise State with a good opportunity here to extend this lead. Snap gets jumped, rolls out to his right, and is just crushed by the defense there. It was a, not a great blocking situation. Ran a little bit of a stunt up front, was able to confuse number 66 there. You can see him throwing up his hands like, what am I supposed to do? Well, sir, you were supposed to block because that's what we don't pay you for. We, that's what we educate you for. Free education. Drops back to pass. Floats it out to the right. That should be incomplete as well. And this will go under a review as well. God bless Cantaloupe. That, they might call that inbounds. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal because it isn't much of a gain. It is overturned. 
So it'll go from a third and 15 to a third and 13. <clears throat> Stanford got off to an excellent start with that sack to push them back. Drops back to pass. Intercepted. Oh, that looks like one of those garbage NCAA interceptions. Take a look at the replay here. Number 20. I guess he kind of turned his head a little bit. Tough catch. Nice pick. Just needed a little bit more air under it. Number three had him beat. So the turnover sets up Stanford at the 47-yard line. Hands the ball off. Huge hole off the left side. He gets across midfield into Boise State territory inside the 40-yard line. Split those two defenders, and it was off to the races. There's the ugly-ass Stanford tree. I don't even know where my phone went. Oh, there it is. It's on the table. <laughs> Second down and one here. We got distracted. Out to the left. Just a nice, easy pitch and catch there. So second down and one. Looks like that interception was what Stanford needed to just spark their offense. I threw myself off by using the word just. Under a minute to go here, first quarter. Easy run up the middle up to about the 20-yard line. That'll be first and 10 Stanford. We'll have to circle that interception and see how much of an effect that had. Not necessarily, like, the turnover was, like, a, like, it was a bad punt, right? But the context of, hey, Boise State's up seven. They held Stanford to a three and out. And then they threw, uh, they threw a turnover instead of being able to put more points on the board. Incomplete pass. Nice play by Boise State there. Oh, I knocked over a Gatorade as well. I'm just knocking everything over here. Motion into the backfield. Hands off. Goes up the left side. Hurdles a man inside the 10. Will be marked down at the 7. That is, was a nice play design there. I thought he made a mistake by going to the outside. I, I thought it was going to get cluttered up. I thought he was going to pull it in and go up that way. But uh, no luck. Stanford mascot, defying the laws of gravity or physics by clipping through the field. Drops back to pass. Nice sack by Boise State back to the 15-yard line, second down and goal. It's an excellent time to call a blitz. 51 came in just untouched. Pushes Stanford back five yards. Could be the last play of the first quarter. And it will be the last play of the... I said third, but I meant first. The first quarter uh, of action here. We have Boise State up 7-0. In a tight one here. Could be uh, could be on upset alert. Stanford driving, though. Be back after this. All right, welcome back. Second quarter action here. Boise State up 7-0. Second down and goal from the 14-yard line for Stanford. Delayed handoff up the middle. Breaks the tackle, makes it all the way inside the 10. So back around the original line of scrimmage. Third down and goal. Three receiver set. Drops back to pass. Nice deflection in the end zone by Boise State. Excellent defense there. 
Gates making a great play. There were a ton of Boise State jerseys in that area. Okay, a ton may be a little bit of a dramatic phrase of, a uh, dramatic saying of two, but still. Kick is up and good for Stanford, so seven to three now. With 4.33 remaining in the first half, the turnover only turns into a field goal rather than a touchdown. Nine plays, 44 yards, a minute and 45 seconds off the clock. 27-yard field goal was good by Anderson. Stanford kicks off. Boise State, a couple yards deep in the end zone, takes it out. Up to the 15, and an excellent, excellent tackle there by... Stanford to really limit the return yards there. Got up to the 19-yard line. Motion into the backfield. Offset eye. Drops back to pass. Looking, looking. Fires. Finds his man. Hit instantly. Up past the 30. First down and 10 for Boise State. Austin over to Utley. Three receivers set. Two down to the do two down at the bottom. Doesn't matter though, because they run the ball off the right side. Nothing doing for Jackson here so far today. Second down and eight. No reason to abandon the run game. Offset eye again. Oh my goodness, what a defensive play by Stanford. Number 11 just came up. Is that Sullivan? Came up untouched and blew that play up in the backfield. Third down and seven. They may have actually given him a yard. Drops back to pass, four down lineman. Throwing it deep down the right side and it is caught. It's going to be in bounds. Somehow that was a touchdown. Wilson... We'll have to take a look at this replay. Just nobody covered him. 27 was a smidge late getting over. He absolutely stepped out of the 13-yard line. I don't know why that was called a touchdown. We'll see a booth review here, I'm sure. He 1,000% he stepped out. Yeah. Steps out. We've had two overturns so far. This one should be number three. So I'll wipe the touchdown off the board. That's why I was so confused, because he absolutely, like, I, he stopped and did that weird, that weird animation right on the sideline and then just kept going. Jackson gains five. First down at the three before the touchdown. Another handoff. Getting a little bit more traction. Eight yards on two carries in these last two plays. See if they stick to the ground game or go through the air. Could be a huge overturn if they only end up coming away with a field goal. They'll hand the ball off again. There were Stanford defenders in the backfield, but they overran the play. Jackson gets in and scores. So the overturn just makes it so that it takes a few plays longer to get in the end zone, but the result is the same. 13 to three, petting the extra point here. Kick is up and good. Up to the 25, up to the 30. And he'll be tackled at the 31. Boise State up now 14 to 3. Mm -hmm. 
And they'll mark him down at the 32-yard line. Trips receivers up the, at the top of your screen. Boise State brings pressure. Long throw down the sideline. That one's going to be... That one's going to be caught. They're going to call it a catch. Just a good release off the line of scrimmage. Beat number four immediately. Stanford brought pressure. Or, excuse me, Boise State brought pressure. He might be out of bounds as well. We'll see if they take a look at this one. As we get the extended celebration, looks like a tree's taking a poop. They won't look at it, which I am surprised with. All right, so that play will stand. Will remain a catch into Boise State territory. Second down and eight coming up after the two yard gain. From the 36 yard line. Stanford motions. Nobody really moves on the defensive side. Looking for the triple or the option play here. That's a fumble. There was a Boise State player in the area. Should have been a turnover. And maybe even a maybe even a scoop and score there, but the Boise State defender just missed the ball. Stanford very lucky here. Drops back to pass. They're going to bring pressure again, and they'll get to him. Fourth and 21. You'd expect to see Boise State maybe take a timeout here. Nice play there. Number 92 got off his block, and Terry just couldn't get the ball out of his hand fast enough. He was winding up to throw it. So that'll push him back considerably. Still no timeout here by Boise State. They burned five seconds so far. And they are just not going to take a timeout. So get a drink. Hang out. Chillax. Be here for another 15 seconds. Take a lap around your house. Boise State looking like they're comfortable taking a 14-3 lead into the locker room. Got a snap jump. Punt is away. Try and cough and corner him. It'll dr drift into the end zone. So that'll be a touchback. Boise State will get the ball at the 20-yard line. See if they do anything with it. Drop back to pass, throws inside, nice catch there. Clock will stop to move the chains. Uh, instead, Boise State will just take a timeout. They're up past the 35 to the 36-yard line. Another short pass to number three. Boise State taking their second timeout very quickly on those. I would not have taken the first timeout um, because, because the clock does stop. Drops back to pass, launches it deep down the side. That is a wide open receiver. He'll break a tackle. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Boise State. Wow. Quick scoring drive of the Broncos now up 20 to three, pending the extra points. Austin looking good since that, uh, since that interception. Threw a touchdown that got overturned, rightfully overturned. Threw another bomb there. 35 seconds remain. This kick is up and good. Three plays, 18 yards, 17 seconds. Or 81 yards, excuse me. 59-yard pass from Austin Jackson for the touchdown. Kickoff. Fielded at the goal line. Up to the 15, 20, 25 where he is met. There is a penalty flag on the field. This will probably be a hold on the receiving team. That makes sense. Half the distance to the goal. Or maybe that was just a 10-yard penalty. Either way, Stanford not looking, with, not looking at great field position here. We'll see if they do anything. I don't know how... Or if they are built, not how, but if they are built for uh, fast-paced offense. They'll run the draw here. 
and no timeouts called by either side. So we'll most likely go into halftime with a score of 21 to 3. That's exactly what happened. The game blessed us by just skipping the final 30 seconds. Stanford gets the ball first after after halftime, but it is 21 to 3 Boise State up big on the farm. All right, here we go. Boise State kicks off. Fielded again right around the goal line. Up to the 15 to the 25. Almost all the way out to the 30-yard line for Stanford. who will get first cracks at the second half. Here's our game track. Austin. Oh, Austin has two touchdown passes. That is that's correct. Uh, they're showing that play like it actually happened. It was overturned. But Boise State, two passing touchdowns, one rushing touchdown. I forgot about that first one on the on the opening drive. So Austin has two touchdowns, one interception. Jackson has a rushing touchdown. And Stanford has a field goal and a nearly disastrous turnover. Finds his man right around the 35-yard line for a seven-yard game. So second down and three. Boise State, four down linemen. Three receivers set for Stanford. No reason for them to change what they're doing. They have plenty of time. They're only down by 18. And they do have a takeaway on the defensive side. So Nice pass there by Terry. Nice recovery and catch by number 81 to grab that. So that'll be first down and 10 at the 47 and a half yard line. Call it the 48. Hands off the hands the ball off. Up the right side for six. Second down and four. Jen Jenkins looking really good. I don't think they can slow it down enough to just run the ball, but they'll be effective if they do. Play action pass, deep pass down the sideline. Caught but incomplete. Lost it on the way down. It was good coverage by Boise State. Just barely missed the ball, but made sure that he got the tackle animation in there. That jarred the ball loose. Another play action pass. That was a nice play there. Got just destroyed at the 37 yard line. Wait, hold on to that ball. So 21-3 here. Sanford's taking a minute and 15 seconds off the clock on this opening drive. Other pass is complete. Don't know if they're going to give him enough for the first down. No, it'll... They'll give him nine and make it second down and inches. Nice run after the catch there. So second down and inches. For Stanford. Passing the ball here. Why not try to pick up another little chunk there? Worst case scenario, go back to a run on a third down. No problem. Up to the 20 yard line, so first down and 10. Ref dances around a little bit. We're getting a lot more of these long shots that are just kind of lingering on this situation. But they'll be right on the left hash of the 20 yard line here. Floats it up over the top, and that was incomplete. Shocking, that is incomplete. He was wide open. That should have been should have been first and goal. Could have been a touchdown. But alas, it is second and ten because he could not come down with the ball. A lot of backs in the backfield. 
to lose one yard for Stanford. Throws it up over the top, deflected again in the end zone on a third down. Boise State's going to hold them to a field goal here. I didn't even know how to commentate that. I was so engrossed in what was happening in the game. I love watching video game football so much. Kick is up. Kick is good. 21-6 to six is the score. So Boise State's defense playing a bend but don't break. After an 11 play, 11 play drive results in three. Maintain a 15-point advantage here. Fields the ball to goal line. Up to the 20. It's a tackler at the 25-yard line, and that's where he will be dropped. So this is where Boise State will start their first possession of the second half. The most interesting thing Stanford can do here... Excuse me. Let me try that again. The most interesting thing Boise State can do here is allow Stanford to leave the door open a little bit. 10 for 11 for Chris Austin today, 176 yards. That is more yards than he has had in the last, like, three games combined. I formation, drops back to pass on second and two, flips it out. Nice deflection at the line for Stanford, so it'll bring up a third down here. You can't allow Stanford. You just can't allow them to leave their foot in that door. Drops back to pass. Surprised they didn't go with the run game. Instead, it's going to be a long pass over to the right side. Nearly intercepted. That was into double coverage. They only rushed three linemen. Probably should have run the ball there. There was just no chance for the receiver to get it. So that'll bring out the Stanford punt unit, and it will stop the clock. Ball is punted away. All the way back down to the 20-yard line, up to the 32 Met by a tackler, and Stanford will start their second possession after a three and out. I think. <laughs> Off the right, uh, left side, excuse me. Tackled after a gain of only three yards. They're bottling up Jenkins a little bit better here. I would assume that that was a halftime adjustment that they made to make sure that he didn't just run wild on him in the second half. From the shotgun, drops back to pass. Fires over the middle. Caught with the tackle broken all the way up to the 47, maybe the 48-yard line, depending on forward progress. <laughs> Ugh, pardon me. My throat feels weird. I feel like I'm talking a little oddly. But I've also been talking a lot over the last couple of days. So 21-6 to six here. Float pass up over the top. He's got him wide open. And this is the dangerous thing that they can do. Look at this float pass up over the top behind all the defenders. A little more air under that. And that is absolutely a touchdown. Boise State again. They're playing bend, don't break. They're going to have to bend again, but not break. Deep in their own part of the field. I would not be surprised to see Stanford go for it on fourth down here. As we tick down towards the end of the third quarter. Stanford has had the ball for most of it. That's intercepted. Oh my goodness. Big number 94 coming up with a critical pick in the end zone. Just read the, read the route and just popped right in front. Smart play to just take a knee there. Get it out at the 20. And just like that, Boise State's defense holds again in the red zone. Okay, that was a weird looking play. I didn't really know even what to say. Drop back to pass, which I thought was a little odd. Obviously, you know, you want to stay aggressive. You don't want to give them too much of an opportunity, but you got to complete the passes if you're going to go for it. After an eight-yard gain, it'll be third down and two. Jackson not 
not utilized enough in this game, I would say. He hasn't had a ton of success, but just keep running at it and eventually you'll break through. See what they do here on third down and two. Under 40 seconds in the third quarter. Probably should be the last play of the third quarter. Hand it off. He'll trip past the first down marker. And that will be a first down four. Boise State up past the 30-yard line to the 32 or so. Conveniently with 32 seconds remaining. Single back set and two wide receivers to the top of your screen. Little motion there. There's a nice run and a nice spin move. I'll give them six. Second down and four. Thought this was going to be a little bit... A little bit more, I thought this would be the score, but maybe in the opposite fashion, considering how poorly Boise State played against Washington State. They are really running plays here. That's an incomplete pass, mercifully an incomplete pass. Bring up third down and four, and we'll start the fourth quarter of action. Boise State's defense keeping Stanford in check. Boise State's offense needs to keep it rolling here at the beginning of the fourth to... Ice this game away. Big upset, Bruin. Against the Cardinal. Third down and four. Back split to the right. Snaps the ball. Delayed handoff. Ran right into the teeth of the defense. And there was just, there was nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Maybe if Jackson bounces that a little bit to the right, he has a shot at it, but... Nothing going there. Field to punt. He's fielded at the 17-yard line, all the way up to the 30. So a nice return and a nice broken tackle turns into a uh, turns into good field position for the Stanford Cardinal, who threw an interception on their last uh, last drive. Fortunately for Stanford, the Boise State was not able to cash that in. They have not had great drives here in the second half. They have all of their points in the first half. That is... That should have been a pick. That absolutely should have been a pick by Bennett. But with four minutes and 30 seconds, Boise State may have just enough time to outlast the Cardinal here. Stanford's going to have to get two touchdowns, one of them with a two-point conversion to tie this game at 21. But Boise State's got to be able to run the ball if they get the ball back. And they'll probably have to look out for an onside kick. Nice defense there. Right at the 40-yard line. Fourth down and one coming up. Jenkins just didn't have anywhere to go. Five down linemen for Boise State. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Fullback run. They'll give him the first down, but it was close. He was met right at that line. Wasn't sure if he was going to get it all the way there, but I'll give him the yardage. So up to the 42 now. Intercepted by Boise State. He dropped back to pass. Tried to find the slant, but no go. That is going to be a pick and a nice return inside the 30. I am surprised at that result. Both of the interceptions that Boise State's grabbed have been surprising to me. Just jumped in front. And Bennett with a nice pick there. Boise State on the verge of a ginormous upset. 21 to 6. Three and a half to go. I thought this was might I thought this might be the game of the year. Fortunately, Oregon's still on the schedule for that to happen. But this will uh, this is an important game. Boise State needed needed a victory. They can't I don't think they can have two conference two conference losses and still make the championship game. Runs the ball again inside three minutes here. Third 
Boop, 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 boop. Spill the condensation all over your keyboard. Hold on to the ball. Don't snap it yet. You have no reason to snap. Third down and six. Play action pass, floats it out to the right, wide open, inside the five, touchdown, Boise State. What a beautiful play call there. He was wide open. Into the end zone, 27 to three here is your score. With, or 27 to 6, excuse me, 27 to 6. And with 202 remaining, that should be the nail in the coffin. Boise State got out to a very fast start, scored the first points of the game. Three plays, seven, 27 yards, minute 28 off the clock. We'll be down to uh, under two minutes to go here. They scored 21 points in the first half. They've been able to hold Stanford in check. A couple of key turnovers. The first interception a little more important than the second one, not to knock the second interception. Obviously, every turnover is important, but Stanford got down inside the red zone three times, got into field goal range four times, and only came away with two field goals. And uh, honestly, Boise State should probably have another touchdown, just based on the fact that there was a uh, there was a fumble that they should have picked up that they just didn't for whatever reason. Another interception! Wow, Stanford laying an egg here, a uh, six-point egg. It's gonna take a lot for them to even get back into it, but Gates just hanging out in his zone and. Took the ball away, so that's three interceptions for the Boise State defense. So I'm sure the crowd will start to file out here. <clears throat> Pardon me. Boise State, run the ball there. Second down and eight. Game will mercifully give us less time on the clock. One of the best uh, additions to Madden. Get a little six minute quarter action going on there. Make sure you have 20 seconds on the play clock. Really melts away the time, which is nice. We need one, only need to run one more play. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a false start. Or excuse me, encroachment. My apologies. Encroachment on Chance Jenkins. Still third down. And that'll actually that'll do it for the game. They didn't even have to run the last play. Number two takes a beating today by number 17, Boise State. Huge upset victory. Go ahead and mute my webcam here as we check out the highlights. 28-6 is your final from the farm. Stanford threw three interceptions, had two field goals. Here's your play of the game. This was right at the end of the first half. Some weird lighting on the players here. Um, like, yep. Real weird lighting. <laughs> All right. Now push the lead out to 21-3. Uh, to, uh, Right before halftime. See how far Stanford falls in the polls. Here's your player of the game. Jackson, two receptions. 65 yards, two touchdowns. <laughs> hey, if you're going to catch the ball, might as well score with it. Boise State with a huge bounce back win. Austin looked like the... 98 overall potential Heisman quarterback. I thought he might be. Here it is. Here's another play. That was a uh, number three. That one, they keep showing like it actually counted, even though it was overturned, which is very odd, but that's okay. 
That one would get overturned. It would be uh, would be later run in for a touchdown. But a nice broken tackle right there into the end zone for a score. And the play action pass. It got bl obliterated on the backside there. But a nice, nice play action call there. Here are our screenshots of the game. Not, not great. I'll be honest, not great. You're not giving me good thumbnail material here, NCAA 12. I think I forgot to do this at the end of the... At the end of the Washington State game. I don't think I looked at the stats. But that's what we'll go ahead and do now. You have to turn your controller on. Hello? Okay. So look at the game stats. I guess I was just in such a... Such a level of shock... Oh my gosh. Take a look at the player stats. Boise State Austin went uh, 12 for 17. Had 207 yards. Three touchdowns. The lone interception coming in the first half. Cleaned it up after that. And uh, looked good. Had some, had some big plays with a long of 59. 99 overall. Wow. Jackson, 15 rushes, only 33 total yards. Uh, Hale... What? James Hale, the kicker, somehow got somehow accounted for 51 yards on the ground. Uh, but I don't know why. All right. Uh, not a whole lot of room to run in this game was, was the point I was making. Uh, here we have our receivers. Player of the game, Charles Jackson. He is on fire, 90 overall. From Pocatello, Idaho. Had the two receptions, two touchdowns, 65 yards through the air. Nobody touched the ball more than three times, but uh, doesn't really matter when you're uh, when you're winning. And then uh, on the defensive side of the ball, Matt Davis, he's hot. He had four total tackles, three interceptions, one for Bennett, Gates, and Smith. Bennett and Smith both hot as well. So there you have it. My goodness. What an upset. Number 17, Boise State taking out number 2. Stanford. On the road. Uh, Boise State, I think, has a lot more of their conference games on the road than they do at home. Uh, which should be fixed next year. Or next season. But we'll see See what uh, we'll see what happens. So we should next year Boise State should get Stanford and Oregon both at home. Look like at Washington State at home. They might have to travel to Seattle to play Washington, but that is for another day. As always, we'll go ahead and simulate through. Oh, we get our first home conference game next week against Arizona. Five games down, about seven to go. Four and one Boise State. You'll get to see a peek at the ranking. What they'll jump to uh, in week seven. And we'll see how far Stanford falls. Bum, 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 bum. I think it's home against Arizona, then at Arizona State. Uh, there's, I believe, one more non-conference game as well. Before it is all said and done with, uh, I believe, Utah in the final week. We only jumped up four spots. Wow. All right. Well, we'll see what Arizona can do, if they can do anything on the blue next week, right here on What If Boise State Joins the Pac-12. So far, it's going pretty well, I would say. We'll see you next week for Arizona at Boise State on the blue in Boise, Idaho. Until then, we'll see you later.